All right, so we have a project here. So to create a 3D section, let's go to a floor plan. And this is going to be kind of a combination of the perspective view as well as a section box. So to start, we just want to go up here and grab our view. And we're going to go to 3D view. We want to click this camera view here. And I'm just going to grab a camera view and bring it down the side. One thing I try to do with these camera views is try to make the view as straight as possible, like so. And I'm going to click, and maybe we'll click again here. And so now we have this view looking at the side elevation of our building. Um, so I'm just going to go back to this view. So if I hit the white space here and I lose that camera, we can go down here to our 3D view, right click on our 3D view here, and we can go to show camera. And so we can just use this just to reorient this a little bit. So I'm just going to center this with that grid line there, make it a little bit more centered here. So we have this. So right now we have a camera view, not necessarily a section, a 3D section view. But if we go here and turn on 3D section, it's going to give us this section box. And so we can certainly try to actually use this section box to cut this view, but um, it's a little bit annoying. So another way we can do it is, again, we can go to our 3D view on the side. And now we actually have show section box here as well. So we can show our section box. And now we just have to move the section box to where we want to cut our view. And when we go back to our camera view, it looks like so. So just a couple things here. Uh, when you're looking at this, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, high up in terms of its actual view. So I'm just going to go down here to the target elevation and the eye elevation. And so when we're doing a lot of stuff in, in I guess not necessarily in Revit, but in architecture, we wanna really think about the person scale. So, you know, when you're thinking about that, you know, you're thinking about six feet or five foot 10, it doesn't really matter. Um, but just approximately, you wanna think about eye level. So let's just say 1800 mil millimeters. So I have six feet, 1800 millimeters, somewhere around that range is fine. And when we do that, it kind of brings us down to a little bit more of uh, a better view. And so just to show you, uh, when we bring this to realistic, let me, hopefully that won't fully crash things here, but you can see in realistic, we actually have way more depth in this view than we would if it was just a standard 2D uh, section, I mean, or 2D, yeah, 2D section, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but let's just take this a couple steps further. So. Uh, we can click VG on the keyboard for visibility graphics. We're going to go down to W for wall. We're going to add a cut pattern here of black, solid fill. And we're going to go to roof and do the same thing. Cut pattern, solid fill, black. And then we're going to go to floor. And I don't have the topography in this file right now, but I'm just going to show you what I would do for the topography. Um, so I'm just going to go down to T for topography. And we're going to change this to solid white, actually. And that way, the topography is only just going to show the grade line. So we'll change that to solid white. And then we're going to change our cut line. And in this one, we're actually just going to change the weight to be number five. And so that's going to create a crisp topography line. So now you know, we can see just kind of all the edges of the building. and Really, we're focusing on looking directly in. And I'm just going to draw a quick topography here just so we can see what that looks like. But let's go to massing and site, topography. And let's just place a couple points here. And maybe we'll go bring these a little bit closer. And then I'm also just going to make this drop off a little bit. So we'll go negative 1.2 meters and just make this drop off here a little bit. So now when we go to our 3D view, you can see uh, we have a very thick black line for our topography surface there. Um, we can also pull our section box out a little bit more, bring it down. And so you can see what I mean. Now we just have the thick line of where our topography intersects. So that's how to do a 3D section.